Ladies and gentlemen, dear viewers, my name is Bins, and I welcome you to episode 11 in Let's Play Shapes Industries. Now, I have to, f I have to start off this episode with some very sad news. After episode 10, I started recording the next episode, and due to ill fate, I suppose, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I could not save the recording, and my game has already, it had already saved with no way to retrieve the save game. So what has happened is that I have completed level 21, and we have unlocked the research tier 3 um, units and not only that save from one no actually all of them I have unlocked all of the tier 3 so the units the the shapes that needed to be completed to unlock these buildings well I already created them and I let them input into the hub so an entire video was lost, unfortunately, that we cannot retrieve, um, for which we cannot retrieve the content, I mean. And um, yeah, I'm afraid we're just going to have to take it up there. So what I want to, want to do instead is um, go over these units together so that you can see what they look like. And... Um, yeah, after that, we will have to take it from there. So the first one that we unlocked is the corner crossing. Now, the corner crossing is um, this one. It's a pretty interesting uh, a pretty interesting thing that is very similar to the belt crossing, except you can see that the, um, that the arrows here point to um, how the shapes are going to run. Right, so let's let's demonstrate that. Let's say we get a green shape here and a a square right there, right? What the corner crossing is going to do is it's going to output the green on top and it's going to output the squares to the left. That is what the corner crossing does. So the the one we unlocked first, the belt crossing it crosses them like a crossroads, and the corner crossing is actually just a condensed version of, let's just say, belts that um, run like so. Right. That is the corner crossing we unlocked. Then the next thing we unlocked was the line crossing. Something related to the corner crossing, but also uh, interesting. This is the line crossing. What the line crossing is going to do is it is just going to swap two belts, right? It's going to swap lines of two belts, which I, which I think is something that could be very useful depending on the setup you're trying to go for. It allows more flexibility in terms of your, in terms of your setup. So I'm quite excited to, to see how we could use that how we put how we could put that to good use this is the line crossing let's see what else did we unlock the smart tunnel so the smart tunnel is a, a tunnel that can basically go around corners if i put it here then um no wait i could do it like this for example but the smart tunnel allows side inputs. So I could put the green belt here and I could let it come out here again, for example, right? So that is what the smart tunnel does. And you can also let it go the other way to create something like this. Not only that, you could also let it go straight ahead. So that is the smart tunnel. Looks very interesting to me. I don't know yet how we can use that, but also, you know, in terms of setups, it will allow for more compact and more efficient setups, I feel like. Next, we unlock the layer painter. And as a matter of fact, I have not looked at that. So we're going to explore that together now, if you feel like it. I had a look at the mini storage and the mini storage is also pretty exciting. Um, it's a one cell building. 
and just like with a regular storage, it will have a primary output that it will take, which is the one that is marked with the, with the star and the green color right here. And the secondary output will be this one on the side. Now, the mini storage can hold up to 500 items, whereas the regular storage can hold up to 5,000. So that means one tenth of a big storage but the fact that this comes with um yeah in a one cell building is interesting and in my opinion what is also interesting is that it creates a a split in the road and that the the two outputs they face different directions like 90 degree um there's a 90 degree difference in the outputs whereas if you compare that to the regular storage uh, both of the outputs go into go in the same direction. So I think that is um, that is actually very interesting. And then finally, the layer painter. Let's have a look at the layer painter because that is something completely new. Okay, so the layer painter, it looks very much like the quad painter, but instead of coloring one quadrant, it's going to, um, it's going to paint one layer each. So, um... Okay, now, there are, um... It, it does come with wiring. So let's see how that, um... Let's find out how that works, shall we? Because of the Wires Plus mod, I have uh, four different wire colors as well, which is nice. Uh, so let's see, this should be, this is painting the first layer only. Will this paint only the second layer? Yes, it will. Interesting. That is quite interesting. So it will paint any amount of, like any layer you select. That is actually very interesting. Very interesting. I feel like in terms of uh, MAM building, the layer painter is, I don't know, a one, a one size fits all, I think. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing something, but I feel like this could definitely be... Yeah, this looks very promising. Okay, so the layer painter, count me in. Um, yeah. The first thing I am going to do is make a laser is, is make a um, is make a, a, a layer printer array. So let me get to the warehouse. Um, was this last episode? Yes, in the last episode, I also changed a bunch of stuff I have in the warehouse. I went to the um, I used the the belt crossings we got uh, to create units with uh, much smaller footprints. Right. Um, so I have those as well. This is also something, unfortunately, you'll have to miss out on. But uh, yeah, that's a thing that happens. So now to this warehouse, we are going to add a layer painter array. Give me just a sec. Now, since uh, I said I wouldn't use the Wires Plus mod for stuff that Sense 101 did not intend, I will set this up with two color, uh, two color wires only, only, only green and blue. Okay, I think that's a keeper. Nice. Okay, let's see. Something else I remember of last video is a little rant I had about the fact that on the wiring layer with the Wires Plus mod, 
it is possible of combining merged shapes and that is not possible on the physical layer and that is something that tr threw me off completely because as a matter of fact for uh, this level 21 shape right here that's how i intended to do it and even though i afterwards i remembered that i had tested the combiner for uh, merged shapes so I technically knew it couldn't do that still the fact that it's possible on the wiring layer with the wires plus mod it threw me off and it it just set me into the wrong direction and I had to redo an entire part of this machine now I notified Skimner Fi about this um, because I feel like it's very misleading it's my opinion that you you know if you cannot do things on the physical layer then the wiring layer should reflect that. So I reached out to him. Um, I don't know yet if it's something he will be able to look into, but anyway, that is also a thing that happened in the episode that unfortunately was missed. So I believe those are all of the public service announcements. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, no, we're, we're there. So that means that we can now get into this level 22 shape and try to unlock the hyperlink. Now, this shape is interesting. And why is it interesting? Well, because according to what I know from the base shapes game, it is impossible. This shape is 100% and completely certainly impossible to do because it has floating layers that are impossible to create I, fe I believe although are they? no they're not wait a minute is this impossible? hmm Okay, let me, let me try something. I believe I am completely wrong. I believe I am completely wrong. This shape is not impossible to do in, uh, in the regular shapes. You know what? As a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my trusty old bust mam in, actually. I'm just gonna run this shape through the bust mam, and then we're gonna see if it works, yes or no. It's a lot easier than trying to figure this out by myself right now. So there it is, the trusty bust mam. Now let's see. Yeah, it's absolutely possible. It is absolutely possible. So this is not a, a Shapes Industries exclusive shape. And as a matter of fact, the bust mem already tells us how to do it. It's, um, it's just about creating either two tri-floats or two quad-floats. Um, yeah, okay. Let's get to it then, shall we? There we are, back in the Shapes Industries save game. And well, I was wrong indeed, so this shape can absolutely be done um, without any of the Shapes Industries special units. And I figure, you know, it's particularly challenging for, um, for the average mortal Shapes player but if there is a niche that I am, that I can say that I am, you know, kind of good in, then it is floating shapes. And this, this floating shape is definitely more complex than the average you will encounter in the regular shape, uh, regular shapes game. So that is why I guess it would be a challenge to many, but as a matter of fact, thanks to the bust mam, I do not need to reinvent the wheel. And I think we can get this shape done pretty quickly and efficiently. 
I made a few calculations meanwhile. I also made a screenshot in the meantime that I can have a look at if need be. And according to my calculations, I will be needing six belts of stars, two belts of circles, six belts of scaffolding pieces, two belts of red, four belts of green, four belts of blue. So let's get that ready, shall we? Off we go. First, clearing up some space so that we have, so that we actually have something to, um, some space to work in. Now, let's get to it. Here we go. That is the shapes done, now let's get the colors in. And I think we are good to go. Now that we have all the resources, the first thing we are going to do is create white star belts. And we need four of those. So that means, first of all, let's get to the warehouse and let's get in two white color mixers. Two white color mixers, that is what we are going to do. And that is, as a matter of fact, this is kind of counterproductive to put that there. So let's just let's just move out of the way of it. So one and two. You go there. And you go there, I guess. Excellent. Let's get some belt crossings in. Excellent, that is two belts of white and we can combine them with two belts of or with four belts of stars in order to create four belts of stars. That is what we need. Therefore, we're gonna get a double painter array in and then we are going to get that painted. Will this fit? It will fit. Excellent. Good. That's two belts of stars done. Or no, four belts of stars. Excellent, four belts of stars. Now, we need two belts of cyan stars. And in order to create cyan, we need... Well, we need to create cyan paint first, don't we? So, back to the warehouse. And let's get single color mixers in. Uh, this looks like something we can build here, right? Why, yes. Yes, it does. Therefore, Well, I'll tell you that with these new units, belt maneuvering has definitely become a lot easier, which is absolutely excellent. So, on we go. Good, going strong. Now what we will need to do is get all of those other belts out. So let's do some more micro maneuvering right here. 
for example, like so. That looks good. I think I like that. Now, will we able to? Will we be able to get these belts out? One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that might be a hard one, but we're gonna try nonetheless. And this is an excellent time to use the corner crossing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Love it. Loving it. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Happy bins. So, happy viewer. Okay, so now things are going to be getting a bit trickier. What is it that we need? What is it that we need? Now, we will be needing to split these belts into quadrants and we will be needing to connect scaffolding pieces to them and we need to pay attention we're going to need to pay close attention so let's get back to the warehouse do i still have a quad splitter and it looks like i do so let's get that one out Let's get a quad splitter out, like so, and I'm going to get this double combiner array out, and now that I look at it, this won't work, will it? It will not work if I want the same belts, if I want the same shapes to be feeding from the extremities, so... Let's see if we can use any of our new units for that. Wouldn't that be nice? We use the line crossing. I feel like the line crossing is actually quite ideal for that. That is perfect right there. So, let's get some few combiners down there as well. Here we are. Let's put that here for safekeeping. And now, let's start with, start with this one right here and see what we get out of that. I feel like maybe I want to try working downwards. We're actually going to work like this and in all occasions, we are going to want the stars in the top left and the bottom right. Top left, bottom right. So, rotate. Is that correct? Top left, bottom right? It is absolutely correct. Therefore, we want this twice. Not only that, but we want this a bunch of times. Except, this is where it gets interesting. Here, I want a belt of a white belt of stars connecting to. Wait, what is this? Yeah, we don't need that. We want that connecting to a belt of scaffolding pieces. And now the scaffolding pieces that is going to be more interesting because we will be needing to rotate them in specific ways. But the bottom line is that. That is the way we want to work, actually, isn't it? Well, I think it is. I think it absolutely is. Mm, I'm packing this way too close together. Okay. Let's not try to be smart. Let's just try to be... Let's try... Let's just try to get it done. So maybe this initial thing wasn't the worst idea. I think it wasn't the worst idea because it gives us more space. And space is something I feel like I can appreciate. So let's get the next belt in. Yep, looks good. 
belt crossing. Yes, sorry. That is exactly what I want. Something tells me I'm not quite there yet, but no problem. We can get it sorted. I think now we're good in, in terms of scaffolding squares. Yep, that looks good. Let's get out the second belt of circles, of cyan circles. Now, let's get out the stars. So, excellent. I think that got us exactly what we want. Now let's look at these squares again. These squares, I will want the scaffolding pieces all in the... How are we gonna do this? How are we going to do this? Change of plans. I'm going to rotate all of my star shapes to the bottom right. I'm going to rotate all of my star shapes to the bottom right corner. And that means one counterclockwise rotation for you, correct? That is correct. That is what I want. And now we are going to do that for all of the stars. Not the circles. We're gonna we're gonna have to get back to the circles. No, I want that for all of the stars. Exclusively all of the stars. Excellent. Great. Perfect. Now back to the other ones. All of the squares I'm going to orient them in the bottom left. Bottom left, that is what I'm going to do for the circles. So that means counterclockwise for you. No rotation for the second lane. Clockwise for this. And 180 for this. Yeah, that is correct. Go once, twice, three times, four times, five times, and six times. Excellent. I want all my circles in the top, top left. That is what I want for my circles. So, no rotation required there. A counterclockwise rotation required here. A 180 there and... Clockwise there? Is that correct? That is correct. Perfect. And then we're going to copy that for the other circles. Now we are cooking with gas. That is, that is perfect. Perfect, absolutely perfect. And then we can start getting these shapes in. So what I want done now is, I want two belts of this going with two belts of this. Next, I want two belts of this going with two belts of this.
Now we should be slowly getting all of the belts that we need. And for those of you who have no idea what's going on, trust me, I'm a professional. This is going to work out. In theory. Let's hope it does the same in practice, that would be nice. But as a matter of fact, I think it will. Now that we have this, the next thing I want to do is bring in some quad stackers. So back to the warehouse we go and let's get in some quad stackers. The new and improved with the belt crossings. And now since we are pretty far away from the hub, well, I guess we're okay. Uh, I kind of want to bring these back to the right a bit, don't I? And how many of those do we need? Well, I think, as a matter of fact, uh, we'll probably need eight. But I'll start with four. Because now I feel like I need to pay attention. I need to pay attention again. I'm going to need to pay close attention. The shape that goes on the bottom is a white star. Diagonal, pure. That's these, isn't it? Aren't they? Yes, they are. So. No, spoken too soon. This is not yet what we want. This is not yet what we want. First, the parts that float, that are supposed to float, we need to get those together first. So what we need is at the bottom, we're going to disregard the bottom layer and we're going to regard this as the bottom layer from, from now on. So what we need is bottom right cyan with bottom left square. That will be the bottom layer of my floating shape. So that is this one. Correct? Yes. Correct. And then the second one, the second layer is going to be this cyan top right with bottom square in the left. That is that. And then the third layer is going to be going to be this. That is going to be my third layer. Am I correct here? I think as a matter of fact, I might be. So back to the warehouse. And now let's build. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's build these. Let's take these. is starting to look quite nice. So that is one, two, three, four. And now we connect the belts again. We have our stuff, almost, because now we need to get cutter arrays in to cut out the scaffolding. And we can do that as follows.
Good. Now, the scaffolding will be... It will be cut away. And then we're going to bring those belts together into a combiner array. That is what we are going to do next. So back to the warehouse. And we should be perfectly able to combine these shapes. The only thing we need to watch out for is that half of them should be rotated and the other half doesn't have to be. If we do it like this and like this, I think we are golden. So what are we going to rotate? We are going to rotate, let's say, these ones and these ones. Excellent. That gives me four belts. That should give me four belts of the top three layers of the shape eventually. Now we still have a bunch of erroneous stuff that is uh, slipping through, but that is okay. That is okay. That will sort itself out. Thus, the author's hopes. Now we bring these belts in. And the very last thing we need is a stacker array. Well, two of them. But, um, yeah. That goes there. And that goes there. And that wasn't smart. No worries. We'll make it work. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a winner. And now let's get these four belts back to the hub. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? That looks pretty good. I am, um, I feel quite proud of myself, to be honest. Uh, there are some, there are some aspects of this game that I sometimes struggle with, like ratios and efficiency and compact building. But when it comes to floating layers, I feel like I have an edge. So these shapes, I think, are coming in nicely, slowly. These erroneous ones are going to flush out and we should be getting clean belts of the intended shape that we need. That is how you do that. I think I did a good job. I think I did a pretty good job. We are still kind of getting these weird things coming from Hmm. This is interesting. This is interesting because that's not... I set up my things wrong, didn't I? Didn't I, didn't I, didn't I? And the answer is yes, I did. These balancers are not supposed to be there. These balancers are not supposed to be there. Huh. Well... Well, well, well. I think that's more like it. This is more like it, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That looks a lot better. These belts will get cleaned over time. Is it the same here? Yeah, they're just still... They're coming in because they have a long road to travel. But, um... Yeah, these belts... These belts look clean. They just have to travel for a long time, so it will take some time to flush out all of these erroneous shapes. But once that has happened, we will get nice, full, clean belts. Excellent.
And there we have it, four nice clean belts, still a hundred items to go, and... And... There we go! Level 22 completed, you've unlocked the hyperlink. The hyperlink transports... I think that's a typo. The hyperlink transports up to three belts of items at near instant speed from an entrance to an exit. You can also input a hyperlink directly into a hub. Think of all the possibilities. Okay. From an entrance to an exit. So that is like... What is that? Like random? At infinite distance? You know what I think? I think this video has been going on long enough. Um, I had a blast today. If you give me floating shapes, then I feel like... I don't know. It just makes my day. So, uh, yeah. This was a very fun level. I have already, um, you know, worked past... I've already processed the grief of the lost video. Um, and we unlock the hyperlink. Now this video has been long enough, so we will play around with the hyperlink a bit in the next video. For now, I'm going to sign off. I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you had fun. And hey, that uh, good old trio of liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel, always greatly appreciate it. For now, have an excellent day. I've been Bins. See you next time. Take care. Bye.